वेलकम बैक टू प्रोग्रामिंग नॉलेज सो इन टूडेज वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू कंज्यूम रेस्ट एपीआई यूजिंग डीओ पैकेज नो वॉट इज दिस डीओ पैकेज इन द लास्ट वीडियो वी हैव सीन एंड वी हैव इंटीग्रेटेड यूजिंग द इट एस टी टीपी पैकेज बट एस टी टीपी पैकेज इज गुड अंटिल वी डोंट हैव एनी कॉम्प्लेक्स एपीआईस सो नाउ लाइक इफ यू आर वर्किंग इन द प्रोडक्शन मोड एंड यू हैव अ वेरी लार्ज बैक एंड सिस्टम so at that time you have to use the do package it it is because it is flutter's more optimized package so we will we are going to use this so now without wasting any time let's move on to our today's topic so guys in the last video we created this ui whole thing in the form of in the using http package so this time we are going to use dio package so for that we will first go to the terminal let's just clear the screen and flutter pub add dio so we need the dio package right till now so after let's just flutter pub get and is done So now we required the dio package so let's just call package dio and we need a dio dot dot so now we don't require the http package right now so we'll get some errors so don't worry about that so how to use dio first you have to initialize the dio variable so before that those who are coming first time uh, those who are watching this video first before the http package let me just tell you that in the that in the we define we already designed one application and that application is called like in this we are adding we can add a simple book and it will reflect on the screen and now what are the predefined things the model which we which i created before the integration and this model is taking the id author name title and publisher model is like model is just to optimize way of passing the data through the apis and all and the book screen dot so basically over here we define like we designed some methods to show a dialog box and to add the data book and to add a book okay so in the last video we just integrated the services so in this video also we are going to integrate the service so now the first and very best advantage of using the dio is first you have to initialize the dio and then after that there is option called base options and over here you can pass the base url right you have your right then after that base url you just have to write the base url over here so it's done it's giving some kind of error so oh, the can't be access in an initializer okay so for that let's just copy this come in paste it over here and we don't require the base url right now so it's done now we also have one method called headers so over here we can pass the header and what is the header header is basically content type so in this project we like we don't require the header much but when it's come to like the complex apis over at that time we also require the authorization and to define the authorization in every headers is better to glo define it globally and there are more things you can also play with this like there are some things connection timeout and other things also request timeouts so all of these are good like you can play with this functions and try to learn more about them and now let's just comment out this stuff and first we'll work on get books now what is the thing now we need the if we are using dio package so the first advantage is this we don't need a base url to be defined separately we just can define in the first one only 
So in the final response, this API is looking right now, like like this right now. Okay. So now what we are going to do, instead of this, we are going to write diode dot get, and you just have to write the path, and this path is get with the strings, and that's all. This URL is this API is completed. Now what next? If you are having, if you are having a DIO package, you don't need to write JSON decode and JSON encode. Now, but when you are using a DIO package, so instead of body, you write the data. Okay, that's all. And then, when you are using data dot map, like let's just call it datas, datas. So it will perfect. Okay, the data has got map. So it's done. So over here also you have to write data. So this much is done, and we are completed. Okay. So now we get one error in book screen, and that is del book. Okay. So we don't require it right now. So let's just comment it out. This method also, and on top we have the add book method also. So let's just comment. Also comment this line out. Only for now, like we will see these lines also later. And instead of on tap, let's just comment this also. So it's done. Let's just save it. And now you can see that our data. Like now we can also access the data from there also. So now, in the last video, I already show you, who like what is. Mean to be get APIs and what to integrate and why we integrate the APIs and like uh, from where all the data are coming. Okay, so in this video, I am basically showing you the difference between the HTTP package, like uh, what is the benefit of using the DIO package and how it is more optimized and how it is more easy to use than HTTP package. So in the last video, I told you like why we use the HTTP package and all. So I have shown you like uh, in the last video. I have told you that we are getting the data from the server side and the data that is stored in the database and all and all. So now coming back to the service class. So this was a get to get the book. Now we will use the method to add one. So let's just open it and after delete. So from here, let's just comment this. Let's comment out this. And now what we are going to do over here, we are again going to use the DIO package. So when it's come to post method in DIO package, let's just write post. Now you have seen there is error all the way. So the very first URI. So we don't need this. We just have to write add. Similarly, in the way. Like we don't have to you pass the URL. We don't have to do anything. We just have to write the add. And instead of we don't require headers also. It is because we already define the header in a base URL. So, and in the body there is no option for body. There is only option for data. Okay. And we also don't require JSON. We just have to write book dot two JSON. It does do the all the work on its own and over here you don't also have to write json decode you just have to write response dot data so it's again done like now you can see how optimized the dio package is and now coming back to the book screen in at this time we are going to use the add method again and this will fetch the api okay just save it now going back to our class just click on add and over here we can write like java oops and the title okay the title should be java oops and the author as always unknown and the publisher 2002 just click on add book and the Java Oops add book is added. In the last video, you have seen like what there were some errors while adding the book 
but this time there is none. So let's add one more. Let's skip the now. I don't want. Let's add dot it, and the year will be 2005. And click on add books. So this done, and after also refreshing it, there will be the data added only. So we are getting the data using a dio package, and we are adding the data using a dio package. Now. What we, the next step is to delete the data using Dio package. Now, um, going to a delete method over here. Let's just remove the delete method. Like I am removing from comment section and also this. Then, now going to services class in the delete book method. Let us comment it out. Okay, um, now similarly, the way for get and post the method we also have for delete. So just replace the dio from delete, and then you don't have to pass the data, you just have to pass the UI. Okay, you just have to pass the string the endpoint, and the endpoint is slash delete. Now you require the ID also, as I mentioned earlier in the last video, ID is important. And why it is important like uh, the how this API looks this API looks in such a way that whenever you get some API like this this means you have to add the API over here so instead of colon ID you pass the ID so this is the delete method works and over here I already told you, you have to use delete instead of body and remove the JSON encode and decode. Like it, like uh, you can say it encode and decodes automatically, you don't have to do anything. So it's done. Let's just save it and go back to the class. And now, if you watched our last video, you can see that in the on the tab of list style, it is deleting without anything. So let's just delete her to kill a mockingbird. We will also delete it. And it is deleted. Now let's just refresh. It won't come back because it is deleted. See. I, okay. Now go to dart ops and click on them and delete. And it is deleted. So this much easy. This is this much easier we can implement using dio package so it's on you what package you have to use like http is little more tough to use like more it requires more manual work to do anything like uh, and there is uh, some few changes like basic changes in this are that in a dio package we have initialized the uh, base url directly only so you don't have to keep adding uh, again and again you can also define the headers and in the most apis you also need the request timeout and re response timeout so you have also that you have to define http in all the apis you can't define it globally but in the dio package you can define it globally in the headers part only now what's next you can in the get books you can also see that we just passing the endpoint and it is done and um, okay and the second thing is that you don't have to use the json encode json decode and next what is next net next is that uh, in the post method there is no body attribute like in the SCP method there is body attribute but in this that is there is no body attribute you just have to write the data okay and by chance if you are using only for like you have to define the header differently you can use options what is this option you just have write options and in this the headers are over there so just write header and over here you can pass the header like if you don't want to define it globally and you want to do for individual apis so you can do in this way also and just remove this and yeah that's all like there are more changes also so 
like you have seen we added deleted and update we added deleted and get fetched all the books and all from a do package so we also seen how optimized a do package is comparing to http package so that's it for today's video thank you